Hey what's up YouTubers, it's Dansky here and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how you can create a cog or settings icon in Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to start by selecting our ellipse tool, left click anywhere on the artboard to create a perfect circle, we're going to hold shift as well. We're going to give this a slightly thicker stroke weight and then we're just going to select the rectangle tool and just draw a four-sided shape something like this. Then we're going to use the direct selection tool here, select the top two anchor points and then select the scale tool and we're just going to drag towards the center there just to nudge those in a little bit. I'm just going to reduce the height on this as well just by dragging that upwards. Now we need to centralize these two objects so I'm just going to select them both and go up top here to horizontal align center. Now what I'm going to do is select this four-sided shape at the top I've created, go to edit, copy, and then edit, paste in place. And using the arrow keys, I can just tap this down. And I'm then gonna to go to object, transform, reflect, and I'm gonna reflect it along the horizontal axes. And again, continue to just tap that down. Now what I'm going to do is select both of these four-sided shapes, go up to object and select group. I'm now going to select everything and just make sure that it's horizontally and vertically all aligned. That bit's important just so your cog doesn't appear unbalanced or off-center. So now we can select these two four-sided shapes that we've grouped and go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place. And if you select the rotate tool over here and just drag and if you hold shift it should snap to 90 degrees and the same again we just select all of these four sided shapes go to edit copy edit paste in place select the rotate tool and just drag and holding shift just wait for it to stop at that 45 degree angle Okay, now we can select all these four-sided shapes just one last time, go to object and ungroup them all. So they should all be individually selectable again. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to select our circle that we created at the beginning. Go up to edit, copy, edit, paste in place. And then we can use either the scale tool or just select one of these corner anchor points and hold alt and shift and that will scale it as a circle towards the center. So something like this. Now what we want to do is select absolutely everything and then holding shift, just deselect this part in the middle. Now there's two ways you can do this. With everything but the inner circle selected, you can go to the Pathfinder palette and select Unite, that's the top left one, and it will merge all of these together as one complete path. That's one way. Alternatively, you can select everything and using the Shape Builder tool, you can click inside one of the four-sided shapes and just drag and you'll see the red lines here clearly mark what's gonna be included as our shape. So we just do that for everything except the circle in the middle and we can achieve the same effect. So we've created our cog. These are all still selectable stroke widths. So you can adjust this width, increase it as you need to, or you can reduce it. You can select rounded corners here just to round those corners off and you can adjust it as you need to. And you can either keep it editable or you can finalize it once you're happy with your stroke width. So the reason you might finalize it is if the stroke width here is 20 and I shrink it down you'll see that it totally changes the proportions and even though I've shrunk the shape down in size it remembers the stroke width of 20. So to fix that we select everything go to object expand leave both the fill and the stroke selected and click OK. Now when I drag this down you'll see that the stroke width stays proportional to the shape. And there we go, we've created a COG settings icon in Adobe Illustrator. 
As always guys, leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.